Dr. Joni Zitzma, uh, welcome to Australia and Space TV. Great to have you back on and welcome to the Indo-Pacific here in Sydney for 2025. Oh, great to chat with you again, Chris. Uh, Joni, you've got a new company, uh, mm. Rapid Fast Drones, or maybe we've, only, we've literally just seen it, but uh, very cool tech. So introduce us to your new company. So I discovered a problem um, where if people have been injured on the battlefield, um, they die, and if they don't get blood, but if they could get blood, they can live so much better. So 25% of battlefield injuries and deaths are preventable, but you gotta get them blood. Yep. So I've developed a customized drone system all about speed, getting blood from the hospital that houses it out to the point of need rocket fast. So hence uh, Aeromed I think is the platform. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe introduce us to some of the stats on it uh, and I there's a couple of different versions I saw as well. Yeah. yeah. So so it's a high speed vertical takeoff and landing tube launch drone. Um, it has a one kilo payload and that's one unit of blood and all the things that a medic would want to deliver the blood and it can travel 30 kilometers in six minutes which is um, yeah. pretty fast. Uh, the whole point is not just the drone is fast, but the loading system of the payload onto the drone is extremely fast. Um, so everything's pre-packed and kept in the fridge, and when the call comes out, uh, the payload bay, which is the nose cone, is loaded onto the nose of the drone. You program it, and then you send it. Um, and the whole idea is it gets people blood as fast as they need it, and not not slow like most other drone so systems. So extremely focused just on delivering blood to either in a battlefield or what other scenarios have you got? So time is something where medicine uh, it's not on your side yeah. so if you're having a heart attack you need a defibrillator right now if somebody bites uh, if you get a snake bite you, you need that snake bite kit um, there's quite a lot of medicines that if they're administered in a short period of time after the trauma, uh, in particular traumatic brain injuries, um, you can really, really reduce the bad side effects. And, um, and look, I want to do drones for good, yeah. uh, rockets for good, yeah. and um, uh, I, I've used my experience in aerospace to develop a custom targeted product uh, that can solve those problems. My first, I get the fast part, what's the landing process? Maybe talk us through that. Uh, so, just like SpaceX, uh, it does a flip turn <laughs> wow, okay. in the air and it lands on its tail. Wow. Um, I just posted a video of the vertical yep. takeoff and landing. Um, so, it's not science fiction, it's science fact. I don't think I saw that, maybe I didn't watch the video all the way through to the end, I just thought it was a cool uh, fast rocket drone. Um, so, deployment uh, yet, or uh, where are you currently at? I, you've so, obviously got a working model. Uh, so, we're flying it, um, and we, we fly it almost every week. Uh, we're getting better. I'd say we're at TRL 6 right now, okay. edging up towards TRL 7. By the end of Christmas, uh, we will have demonstrated the full mission profile and that means it's ready for uh, our first customers to come and talk to us. Well the question is uh, with CASA and they are starting to approve beyond uh, visual line of sight, mm. how does that work with, with uh, sort of the regulator approach? So it, it drives my test uh, for sure, yeah. uh, so right now we're primarily doing uh, visual line of sight operations, um, flying it in circles around us to demonstrate the range capability. Yeah. Um, it's not a big stretch to say if I can fly 30 kilometers in circles, then I can fly 30 kilometers straight. Yes. Um, but really, I, I need help there. And that's where we're hoping to find some operational partners to make the Beyond Visual Line of Sight a little bit less onerous yeah. um, and, and you know get, get it into market faster because this is going to save lives so it's the sort of thing you'd probably want to see move a bit fast. You mentioned uh, blood but also the other payloads, defibrillators and the like, is that something else that's on the, it's a, within uh, the business case? So uh, any, absolutely. Any device or medical uh, uh, device? If there's uh, injectable drugs, uh, if there's plasma for example, yeah. uh, so blood and blood products, uh, uh, devices like a defibrillator, all of those things. Think about if you're dying, what do you need that's going to yeah. save your life? That's basically what we want to carry. Very good. Just and the range one more time, and we will have some video overlays of this. I'll get that okay. from you. But yeah, the, the general range. What's so, the what's the range? So uh, there's actually multiple variants. Yeah. Uh, the fast variant is 30 kilometers in six minutes. 
So it's going roughly 300 kilometers an hour um, right. the entire flight. Uh, so it takes off and accelerates very rapidly. Can you choose the altitude on that? Can choose the altitude. Uh, and then by adding wings to it, it has to fly slower because that's what physics makes me do. Yeah. But I can fly longer. So with the largest wing pack, we can fly 100 kilometers, but it takes about an hour. And it's the fast, rapid fast drone? Ro rocket fast drone. Rocket fast drone. Rocket fast okay, drone. We'll have the link in the show notes as well. But Joni, we had to uh, chat to you. you know, you've recent, recently uh, come on back onto the market, I suppose, uh, and you've come on uh, with a rocket, which is fantastic. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Cheers. Thank you.